Okay, so this is just going to be a square one walkthrough solves. I'm only going to do two. Um, I just started picking up square one, and um, this is like my first day of doing it. I just learned parody uh, about a couple hours ago, and um, yeah, so I'm just going to get to scrambling here. Um, this is a cube twist square one. I got this at uh, uh, Berkeley. I won this as a prize, so um, yeah. I had a square one about two years ago, and uh, I just gave up on it because it was just way too hard to do for um, someone who could barely even solve a 3x3 in like 30 seconds. Um, so, yeah, uh, I finally got around to it and learned square one parody and stuff. Uh, the other solving met the other part of the solve is mainly what I've learned. Uh, like previous to learning parody, so I kind of have a little bit of experience with Square One, but it's nothing really special at all. So here I'm. I'm just gonna like start the solve from here. Um, I see these three connected on the top. This one, these three, and then this one. So what I do for cube shape is I first get it into um, a, a specific case where you have uh, all the uh, one pieces or these edges on top and then uh, you have just big corner chunks on the bottom so here I see that and here I see I'll just do these this big three chunk so there and then I have this all this chunk and then this and then this uh, and then here I would probably put these here and when it slices these two are connected and then I just slice that up and then slice that. So this is the case uh, and it's a pretty easy case to remember. Um, you just hold it like this where these two big corners are directly in the back. You slice it down the middle, you realign it so that the edges are like this and then you do the same on the bottom and then you slice it again and then you realign it on the bottom like that and then, yeah, it's kind of a little bit strange, but whatever. Um, that, to get, um, we're doing uh, CO, uh, so corner orientation, and then here, and that's corner orientation. Now it's time for EO, these two, and then these two, and then uh, single edge. Okay, and now CP. And I'm going to do these two on the bottom. It's just uh, one singular alg that will switch these two and then do diagonal on top. So the bottom layer is solved, and then I just have um, these adjacent on the top. Um, it's, the algorithm is, it, I have uh, a mirror of it. Um, and it, that's, it's, it does a JSON swap on top. Uh, it doesn't uh, just necessarily swap the two corners on um, just the only four corners. It swaps edges too. It does a J perm and an N perm. So um, here what I'm going to do is I'm not going to hold it here because then it would do a diagonal swap on bottom. So first I would just solve, or I would get the diagonal swap on bottom. So I would do it, wait, no, that's the wrong alg. Sorry. Um, I would do this alg. And then now I have diagonal on bottom, and then I can do do it like this. So uh, CP is done. Now it's EO or C CO, yeah. Um, and looks like no parity, so that's good. And this is this algorithm that I just used. It solves or it switches these two pieces and these two pieces. So here I have U perm on the D layer. Um, and I will just go like that and then move it over and then I just go like that. So uh, first solve done. Let's uh, just scramble it up. Hopefully this next solve will be a little bit quicker because that was almost five minutes for just one solve. Uh, I'm kind of averaging about 50 or so seconds on square one right now. It's not very good, but uh, 
yeah. Uh, next thing that I hope to learn is more cube shape algorithms because that will probably help me because sometimes my cube shape may even take about 30 or so seconds and that solve will probably be over a minute. Um, yeah. Okay, so that's good. Um, here I see these three connected, this uh, here and then this. Um, if I just go like this, pair that up, uh, I have this preserved down here and then this preserved. So this is a kind of easy um, cube shape, or into a cube shape. And then here. See, if I learned more of the cube shape algorithms, it would be a lot less of a strain on just that little part. And here we go. That. That C, CO is very easy. It's intuitive. That's why most uh, square one sheets, or square one websites, really don't even caught cover it because uh, it's intuition. Um, here, these two. And yes, so it's these two are the solved and then here. So I'm going to hold it like these two are in the back and they will come to the front and then we'll do that and then it will solve CP. So I'll just do this without even looking to show that this method does work. Yeah, solved. Um, let's see, yes, I got parity. So, um, yeah, I'll just show you parity really quick. So I'm swapping the two pieces in the in the U layer and the D layer. So here, um, yeah, it's these ones. Okay, so parity. I got parity here. So I'm just going to go ahead and switch them to put them in the top layer. That way I can do the algorithm for this. So uh, the parity algorithm that I'm using is the one from from Thross's website, Square One Algorithm Sheet, and uh, this notation isn't that great. Um, I don't really recommend it, but uh, yeah, the only two algorithms that you or let's see, how many algorithms do you need to know? You need to know uh, the cube shape algorithm. The you only need to know um, this one for uh, EO, um, CO is intuitive, um, three, so you really only need to know four algorithms, but I think I know like five or so, uh, just for solving square one. Um, so yeah, parity here, sees two, and this is the exact same algorithm on, uh, his sheet, the parity, it's down here. Um, and I think I'm actually using the same exact method as he uses, so that's awkward, but whatever. Um, here... And it goes so that um did this little thing here, and um parody is gone, so yeah, this it's just that um so yeah, that's it. Uh, square one walkthrough solve. Uh, if you have any tips for me on like solving or anything, please just leave them in the comments section uh, because I would appreciate it. So yeah, bye.